Welcome, everybody, to Forgiveness, a highly modded Minecraft adventure horror map, uh, the likes of which I have never seen before. Uh, the map creator reached out and asked if I would do a, do a run of this map, and I, of course, said yes, because I'm, uh, I'm always down for doing runs. If uh, you're a map creator and you have a map that you'd like me to try, uh, links down to my Discord below, send me a direct message, uh, do whatever uh, do whatever you want to uh, get a hold of me. I, I try to be very responsive. That being said, th I have never seen a map like this before. Uh, entirely custom soundtrack. Not just music, an entirely custom soundtrack. Uh, like I said, uh, it is modded. You can actually see that they've got some different movement mods installed here. Uh, but uh, I am set to normal. I only have one life. I don't know how that's going to play into the overall story, but uh, let's begin. Ooh, good sound design. I need to look around and find a place to stay. Oh, achievement crash. Find a place to spend the night. Hey, that's awesome. Wow. Look at that. I will grab these uh, sweet berries here. And again, this is a uh, a modded instance of of Minecraft. So, oh, nice. So the torch does actually do things. Uh, village or I uh, assume I'm going over this way. Oh, look! At, listen to that sound effect. Oh, it's just so good. Oh, there's a chicken. Uh, you can do crafting in this game, from what I understand, or from the little bit that, uh, from some of the description. A weapon? Hell yeah! Uh, let's put the torch in the offhand. So a stone tool, uh, for early game only. One enemy per swing, got it. I can't interact with frame blocks here. Okay, the auto jump is off, we are turning that off. There we go, that's better. Uh, what do you do? Nine damage, six damage. Uh, this is better. And it looks like tools do have a durability. Oh, I'm going to be looking for a key at some point. Wow. This is just... Hello? Interesting. Oh, House by the Forest. Brilliant. Oh, nope. That, give me that. Thank you. A diary. Today I have a long day ahead of me. Uh, Vis... Uh, Vislava asked me to go into the forest during the holidays. Use up everything so I shouldn't forget. Take the axe, the sleighs, feed the livestock. Slava is ill. Repair the sawmill roof. There should be enough firewood. Go to... Go to Father in the village. Okay. Interesting. Honey bottles. I don't know what I can do with those, but I will take them. I am definitely going back to my default loot goblin fit. Oh! Foundry key. Oh, cool. A little bit of storage. Nice. I will definitely be using this. What is this a part of? I don't know. So I actually do play a... Uh... Ooh, a leather cap. Armor. We do not turn down armor. So I do actually play a bit of modded Minecraft in, uh, in my... Or I like to play modded Minecraft. Oh, nope. Guess I'm getting up here. Haha, <laughs> did though. Anything else up here that I should be made aware of? Oh, more coins. You love to see it. Oh, that sound. Whoa. That was weird. All right, let's go to the journal here. Uh, find a place to spend the night. You get inside the foundry. Open the foundry. Go to sleep. So... 
get inside the foundry. I Oh, look at that. That's absolutely gorgeous. Oh man, I I need to play more. I need to play even more modded Minecraft than I already am. A little coal. Foundry key. Here's some music kicking on. Hold on, let's... That should be under... Skill book. I wonder how I use skills. Whoa! Wow! So I accidentally exited the map... Take it to the village along the path right of the crypt. What? So I accidentally exited the map and that title screen showed up when I uh, when I got back in. That's... You know, it's little details like that that I really... That I really appreciate. Guilt. Uh, if you guys want to pause and read this, feel free. I don't think I need to know this to advance in the story, but I'll, you know, quick read it, I guess. Oh, I can just open that perpetually. Do I have a new uh, objective now? Explore the house? Oh. Um. What? Okay, anyways. Uh, I don't see anything of additional value here. I am in the foundry. The sound design is just too good. I'm just going to keep that, you know, perpetually open now. I think I've gotten everything I can out of there. Weird. Picked up a chicken egg. Thank you, Mr. Chicken. Oh, I think I did botch going upstairs here. <laughs> yeah, I totally botched that. Native hearth. Interesting. Oh, boots. I think I'm pretty good here. Native hearth. What do they define as a native hearth? Whatever it is, it's pointing towards this block. Interesting. I'm going to have to give that some thought. Oh, wait. Ideal for storing. What if I just throw my keys and coins in there? Oh, mysterious door. This door will open at a different time. Okay, so I can... I think I'm pretty much done here, then. I've checked out this house. Oh, this is just beautiful. The uh, the texture pack that they had me loaded, or the resource pack, uh, complimentary shaders for those who are interested, is such a beautiful... It's such a beautiful resource pack. I use it myself when I do... Uh, in my uh, in my multiplayer SMP here in the multiplayer SMP, I'm a part of ZetaCraft, and I think it just adds so much. Oh, I think I'm pretty much done here, anyways. Another little area. Get some wood. We'll take time and experience. White wool. Oh, I no, I'm I'm not stealing the I'm not stealing the outhouse toilet paper. Interesting. Forest. Plains. Okay, so I have a letter here. Take it to the village along the path to the right of the crypt. Is this the crypt? Oh 
Oh, there's another set of structures here. I'm gonna go check that out. Unless that's the crypt. Oh, the sound design is so good. I I can be an audio snob a little bit when when it when the time comes. Like I want you guys to be hearing this music too that I'm hearing. It's so good. There we go. So there was a whole soundtrack uh, specifically made uh, for this for this map. Uh, I'm looking for a path. So this is definitely the crypt to the right of the crypt. You know, this is almost... Okay, now the music's just too loud. I can't win. You know, this is almost... Now the music's too quiet. I can't win! This is, this is almost like an open source map. Or not an open source, an, op an entirely open world map, and I love it. Yeah, I think this is the path I'm supposed to take to Path of the Sun. Models of enchanting a soul lantern. Pretty sure I can use a soul lantern for... No, it's not brighter light. The torch is just going to be the brightest light I've got. A trail? This trail leads somewhere. This is such a unique way of doing an adventure map. Um, really just setting you down with a mystery and a simple objective. Go to a heart and then slowly, you know, through this journal here and through items telling you, telling you what to do. And I think that's just a fantastic way of doing a map. So I've been led to this village. Oh, hello, Mr. Raccoon. Um, I think I got a berry there for you. So he will actually just like eat the eat the berry. Oh, I love the I love the extra animals that these mods put in. Oh. Oh, it's like a different It's a different combat mode here. Not familiar with that. So something I could see being uh, very prohibitive to this uh, to somebody approaching this map is this is not a map for vanilla players. I I'm lucky that you know I I play a lot of I've played a lot of modded Minecraft. So this oh shit that derailed this explanation very fast. Damn. So I do a lot of. I do a lot of modded Minecraft, so approaching these different mods and things... This isn't hard for me to understand and grasp. Because I, I do- I've done this before, but as like a, a new vanilla player, this map might be a little... Uh, might be a little hard to grasp for... Uh, again, people who are just used to doing vanilla. I don't like that this village is entirely abandoned. That fills me with a great concern. Yeah, there's no one here. Oh, the music is so good. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, if, uh, this is not a map for new players. You have to take a lot of us. I wouldn't even say this is a map for. Like, a basement key should be here somewhere. Feathers for crafting materials. Flint. I guess I can make arrows now if I so choose. I 
have the correct key. This is interesting that this house is... Now let's sleep here. I can only sleep at night. Oh, the sound design is just so good. Like, everything feels like... Oh. That music got really scary. That got really scary really fast. I'm just gonna sleep. Okay. So when I got here, the music got really scary. This isn't so bad. I can deal with this. The leaves falling. Oh, this is just such a... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is so hauntingly beautiful. You know, this is like, this is probably one of the prettiest, prettiest maps I've, I've played. But to be fair, you know, this is... But again, to be fair, like, this is a very visual storytelling. Something happened here. That's unsettling. Carrots, good. I probably need food. Shield, that might be very handy very soon. Now we're back to bright and cheery music. Okay. What does my journal say? Find a way to... A mysterious door. Find a way to get inside. No. Look for help in the village. Find the basement key. A gift. Oh, I suppose this is modded Minecraft. Not typical things. Could be... Could be containers. Oh, give me that. Oh, let's... Sure, why not? Hmm. I find it very odd that the basement key isn't in the house. Jackpot! I will not be starving today. No, sir. When does the horror start here? I'm like, really? Very nice. This is advertised as a horror adventure map. An adventurous horror map. And so far, I'm unnerved, but I'm not scared yet. Yet. I already checked all that. Okay. Somewhere around here. Oh, it's a doormat. Something under the bed, maybe? accidentally pick up anything. Well, this tree is peculiarly, peculiarly blocking stuff. 
and the music gets really scary when I go near it, so this has to be important for something. Ah! Music gets a little too scary around that house. Oh, I can craft. Uh, I've got enough stuff to craft a sword, I think. Wow, what the hell happened here? Like a massacre happened. Oh, I can see the invisible. I can see the. I can see the the wall. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I was gonna say if they're gonna let me free roam this thing. Oh, it's a. Why? Very odd. Very odd indeed. Well, anyways, I just think this map is absolutely beautiful. And hopefully when we come back next time, I'm going to have a better idea of where this basement key is. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.